Oh my god, where am I? I'm gonna get up right now. I'm gonna wash my face, cause I need to put water on my face. My eyes are super swollen, bro. I can't even open them. Today's my last day of fucking school. Today will be the last day I wake up this early to get ready. <laughs> I have good news and bad news. So the good news is it's my last day of school and it's my last time getting ready this early. I am so excited to just sleep in. Instead of waking up for school, I could be waking up to work out. Way more exciting, of course. But not gonna lie, I am gonna miss my friends. My two friends, my three friends that I had. And what was I gonna say? The bad news are that I'm literally breaking out. I already covered it, but I just remember right now too that I'm breaking out. And I'm like, for what? And then all the bad shit that I eat. I need to start eating like less like chucherias, like nuts, for example, because I stay eating like peanuts, almonds, nuts. I'm also going to be doing the I Spice hair today. It'll be super cute because I used to do it in middle school, like when I would like put my my hair like laid down and then like edges over here. But we're gonna include the Ice Spice signature. She like swoops her hair like this swoop, like at the end. So we're gonna be doing that. And I don't know why I have so much energy on my swoop. <laughs> Usually I'm just like, so yeah guys, life is tough. Oh. It is what it is. And I'm just like, last day of school, say less, bitch. Also, if you guys want an updated makeup tutorial, let me know in the comments down below and I'll film it this week, literally. Guys, what the fuck am I doing, bro? Oh my God. I literally forgot to put my concealer. I don't know why I break out too because I wash my face every day. I motherfucking eat like shit. <laughs> That's the reason. Guys, I'm gonna be going to Mexico with my cousin and I'm gonna vlog everything. That's just gonna be so fun. I'm gonna be getting laser again because I'm reaching motherfucking hairy as fuck. I need like a good 10 sessions, bro, because my hair's been growing back so fast. It's just like unbelievable. Oh my guys, my stomach hurts. Sometimes I be spending money on stupid shit. I'm just like thinking about it right now. I'm like, what the fuck? I could have that money right now. <laughs> That's crazy. I ran out of my setting powder the last day of school. Is that a setting or what? So lashes, no lashes, lashes, no lashes, lashes, no lashes. Any mini money more. It's like my boss, and my boss, and my ba 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 boss. I think I'm gonna just wear lashes. The guy that I used to talk to, that we don't talk anymore. I would feel like I was on my masculine energy. I don't know. Because he would act like a girl in some way. Not act like a girl, but like, I would feel like I would have to pay for stuff. But it's also because the way I am. But now I'm just like, okay, I learned my lesson. I'm just not gonna pay as much as I used to, you know? Because I'm like really caring that I'm just like, I got you. I got you. I got you, the whole world. And then they're like, Yes, gimme, 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 gimme. They don't like giving, you know? They just like receiving, receiving. Then I'm just like, where it at? We're the same energy. Like, I don't feel the energy being reciprocated. And it just drains you. Like, that's why I was like going through a hard time. It drained me to the point where I lost myself because he wouldn't, like I would do so much for him and he wouldn't really appreciate me because he wouldn't show me off. He literally wouldn't like claim me. We were talking for like six months. I know it's like probably a little bit, but like, like what the fuck are we? He wouldn't really do romantic shit. Like shit that I would be like, oh, like I'm the prettiest girl in the world. Like with him, like instead I would feel like he's ashamed of me. You know what I mean? And it would just be crazy because this one time too, he posted on his spam, right? That has like 20 followers, literally 20 followers. Like who the fuck gives the fuck? And then that motherfucker blurs my face. Like, but most of the time I would feel that I would do the most. It would be more like a 70, 30%. Like he would do the 30%. It was all my fault for just being like so giving. Person, like when I care about you, I want to give you like the whole world. And I, I'm just like, I got you, I got you, I got you, I got you. Like, what do that mean? That's the question. A girl wants to feel in their feminine energy. And like when they're talking to someone, they want to feel like they're the prettiest girl in the world. 
They don't want to be feeling like men out here taking care of the fucking guy. It's just a lot of shit happened that I got tired of it. And I was just like, bro, this is not what I deserve. Like, what the fuck am I doing here? Like, I wouldn't feel like I was the prettiest girl in the world. I was just, like, super insecure. Like, stop loving myself. I feel so ugly. I wasn't even posting nothing. He wasn't really, like, a bad person. Because, you know, like, behind doors, he was, like, nice. And he, I'm not saying that I paid for everything every time. Like, he would. Like, we would have fun. Like, we did have our bond. When he noticed that I was kind of fading, like, he did start, like, trying. But it was just already too late because I was just like, bro, I'm not going to start liking you again because we already tried it and it didn't work out. I wasn't planning on talking to no one after. Like, I was like, yeah, full on focusing on myself, which I was already doing. So then when I started feeling better out of nowhere, he just came out of nowhere. It was so weird. It was like if it was God's plan. <laughs> but this guy that I just started talking to, like, he treats me like a princess. Like, when I'm telling you, I feel like I'm the prettiest girl in the world. Like, he literally opens the door for me all the time. Like, he's just always so caring. Like, shit that he does. Like, for example, it was Mother's Day. Me and him, keep in mind, me and him just started talking, like, for Mother's Day. And then he's like, oh, okay, because I'm going to get something for your mom for Mother's Day. I was like, slap me. Nah, I'm just kidding. He drops off the flowers and he's like, I couldn't just get your mom flowers, so I, I got you flowers too. He got me flowers and I was just like, bro, I didn't know men like this existed. And then the fact that it comes from his heart is just like genuine. Because I didn't tell him like, can you get my mom flowers? No, like, and it's shit like that that he does, like little shit like that. And I just like how me and him are like taking things really slow so we can actually just like fall in love like in the movies <laughs> no but like it's just really going slow we're just like hanging out like he doesn't even like do anything like tries to be touchy or anything and i'm just like what the fuck like and he just genuinely like cares about me and my family like one time he was like you think your mom will let us steal salito for a day so we can hang out with your little brother i was like what the fuck he is so sweet. Not only he makes me feel like I'm the prettiest girl in the world and I know that he appreciates me, like he just makes me feel like he cares about my family and like let nace, you know? It's like he wants to do it and that's so attractive. You guys should be treated like that too because I know not only I go through it, like other people go through it as well. And let me just tell you, there is men out there that will treat you like you're the best thing in the world and you're the prettiest girl in the world and it would make you feel like all types of way and literally care for you never again i already learned my lesson with the other guy but this guy is just like all beautiful like all rainbows all fairy tales which is i love i love because i'm in my feminine energy now when you're in your feminine energy it's just like it feels extravagant like i can't even explain it but you just feel like feminine and you just feel like super happy it just motivates me to do like a lot of shit like do content like just feel confident on myself love myself i just feel super happy and i want to spread all this positivity because you guys deserve the world we all deserve the world but we have to go through hard stuff so we can like become a better version of ourselves or learn from our mistakes. We have to learn from something, you know, so we can become a better version and we can become stronger, like wiser, and we're just gonna know what we want next time we start talking to someone. Life is not perfect. Just keep on going. You got this. And I love you guys so much. For everyone that's graduating too, like, bro, like life is just getting started, but get ready to grind in life and get ready to be successful. Just try and have healthy habits, work out, hang out with people like that you want to be. You know what I mean? Like hang around people that motivate you to be better, not are talking down on you, not bringing you down, not just like influencing you to party. Like who you hang out with is who you're going to end up being. And also just do everything for your family. Just hang around your family because I promise you friends come and go, but family is always there for you and will literally love you no matter what. Life is good. Life is way better now because I was going through it and I got it. I'm gonna start doing my hair. I literally trapped it in the restroom. 
It's been there for a minute. Like I seen the same fly yesterday. Anyway, guys, I ended up doing the Ice Spice hairstyle. I'm wearing this shirt that's from Dosco. It says, "Why are you so obsessed with me?" <laughs> These jeans are from Garage Clothing. They're super cute and they're flare from the bottom. They have buttons as well. I'm wearing my forces. And right now, I'm gonna go to class. I'm not gonna say I'm running late because I didn't go to my first period. But yeah, I gotta go to my second period now. Stay of school, guys. Bye, Adrian. I'm gonna miss you. I'm in English now, and yeah, my last day of school, finally. But I'm looking kinda sad. It's like, I'm not. We're watching a movie. We're watching a movie, guys, inside out. Guys, this is so good. Is it says I have a 4.0 right now, but only because I only have one grade that's like finalized. It's good. It's only one grade that's like finalized. That's why it's an A. My last meal is for school. Yeah, my last meal is for school. This is the only thing I'm gonna miss out of school. No, Last class of the day. Last class of my life. And I'm about to take my semester exam. Oh, I geo I'm in geoscience right now and I gotta take it right now. But my friends are back there. Did he just call me a bitch? It's a last day, Alexia. Yeah. Oh, you better take the final right now. It's my last day. You better take the final. Give me the answer. Never. Never then. Guys, so since it's my last day and I, I feel super happy today, I'm gonna be give you guys free gum, okay? Lana, I already gave you one. <laughs> but two. I'm not talking about these slaves, bro. I'm not no, I'm not. <laughs> bro, I'm not treating you guys like your slaves. Oh, there's your gum. I brought you a gum. You not the Kardashian. I just got back home. I'm gonna go to Hot Pilates around 5 p.m. I'm gonna eat right now too, cause I'm I'm, I'm so hungry. Excuse my brother. But I just finished changing. I'm about to go to the gym in a bit. I look like a little tan, but this is my OTD. I'm wearing this top from Lululemon. These shorts that I stole from my cousin. So yeah, she, you're not getting the back. No, I'm just kidding. But I'm gonna eat tacos de birria right now. Right now. I'm gonna have Pilates now. I got here a little early. I'm 30 minutes early. Class is about to start like in 20, 30 minutes. I am ready. I have my mat ready as well. And I'm excited to work out. <laughs> 